Come on along. Well, hello there. Welcome to my other shop. Well, the drainery of yesteryear. 1931, you see it was built. I do other stuff besides uh, Thirsty? Are you thirsty? Slobber puss. So anyways, yeah, I'm out here in the in the other building. Other building and I've been to woodwork and making a table. I don't know what for. Maybe because I don't have a kitchen table anymore? Long story. Uh, let me show you where this stuff originated. This is white oak. And a lot of people say white oak is good for nothing. But it's good for something in this case because I built something with it. So I'm going to show you. And I, I'm not a professional woodworker, but I can get the job done. That's three foot by seven foot. So I'll show you where this stuff, what it started out as. Weeds. No, I can start out as weeds. Here's the pile. It started out as these here. Well, we had somebody mill them for us, I don't know, years ago, probably five, six years ago. They've been laying out, they were stickered out in the, out in the woods back there. That's where I decided to store them. White oak. You can handle the moisture for the most part, and you can see what's underneath there. So it's been air drying for five, six years. Some of it's punky, dozy, punky, whatever. And some of it's checked in the end, but I picked out some of the good stuff. I ran it through my planer. Yeah, and I still gotta pick some of this stuff out. That's how I arrived at making this table. It didn't cost me nothing, see? I got enough in case we break the board on Dad's truck yet on the trailer. Because it is, that's what his deck material is on the low boy. So you can make something out of nothing if you really want to. And that's what I did. Making something out of nothing. What I'm doing right now, I just got done sanding it. It was kind of a pain in the butt. And I know this has nothing to do with what I used to do on my normal videos. But bear with me. I'm a human being like everybody else. And it's Sunday. And... I started this yesterday, I glued it up, and right now I'm just taking the old, uh, you guys know what these are, do you know what these are? I restore these too, when I have time, and I had the desire two years ago, but I'm going to get back to doing it, I got a whole treasure trove of them. So instead of taking a router out, which is noisy and all that stuff, you just kind of... You gotta have a sharp like a razor though. I don't like the round over look and stuff like that. I just like to take the burrs off. So when your kids are around. It's not hard. See that? I didn't have to use one bit of electricity for that. Never go to the end, you'll snap her off though on oak. Always come back. Anyway, so I'm playing with my wood. I mean with wood today. It reminds me, I'm supposed to do a video. Kind of in the lines of Mr. Haley and how do you if you really want a data, let's see a welder, a mechanic. Well, we'll see if I can get something like that done ever. Yeah, I'm just knocking these off. And, and, uh, 
trying to decide what kind of finish I'm going to put on it. It may seem trivial. Actually, I want to use it for a workbench. Somebody gave me the idea to put it in my kitchen. And I don't know. It's kind of a practice run. It's been so long since I did woodworking. Look at that. See that? Curly Q and Tyler too. That's a little better maybe. So I'm here, I'm going to upload this little video tonight and give you guys something else to, you know, say, wow, life seems pretty cool. Or not. The hell with the router. Beautiful. A little 45 on there? Man, see, yesterday, that's how sharp that red oak is. See that? Excuse me, white oak. I hit my hand right there on that nice edge and blood. blood. She was a bloody mess. No, I'm just, I'm, I'm just handed. I'm going to go this way. Patience and a positive attitude. And if your tools are sharp, you don't even have any tear out. I think I'm going to go the other way because I'm against, against the green. boys and girls. That's white oak. So that's it. I'm going to sand them up a little bit. Not even. These, this thing leaves a hell of a finish. I got a little bit right here to do when I flopped it over and I dropped it. Made a little cadet in. But I'm happy with that. So let me know what you think. think I should put a, uh, I know what I should do, what I wanted to do was to make a steel steel frame underneath it, for in the house, in the kitchen, and, and, and I don't know, I just do what I do, well so thanks for watching guys, it's just kind of boring, but it's Sunday, getting back into this woodwork and stuff, maybe I'll show you some of my artwork too that I make. Well, you did see some of that dead lamp and whatnot, but I got another one coming up. Ha, ha, ha. All right, I got to get this electrified sander out that goes... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. Ooh, let's get some real light. Guess what? Amongst my junk in the garage here, old granary. This building was built in 1931, by the way. I wonder how they finished it during the Depression. Or was that 31? Whatever. There's an old granary. Granary! Full of junk, but look at here. Oh, it's a beauty, isn't it? Just like rotisserie chicken. Hey, no, anyways, I wanted to show you. I got it all finished. Finished. Finished white oak, white oak. There's, yeah, there's a few imperfections here that are pretty cool. We're gonna shoot peas across the table and try to get them to land in that little knot. You guys are out here today admiring my work, and hell, I admire my work sometimes. I haven't done it in a long time, but all right. So let's get you like this. Yeah, it's a better angle. So finally, I got. I'm going to put this in my kitchen. I hope you guys don't mind. Let me straighten you out a little bit. So 
I'm going to put this in my kitchen. Yeah, really. White oak made from planks that were laying in the woods for seven years, six years, five years. Maybe I, maybe I stretched that truth just a little bit. Yeah, no, they were cut green by the local lumber company in, in uh, I don't know what dad worked out for a deal, but we had a stack of them for the deck boards of his trailer. Well, it can take weather. If you didn't know it, it has closed pores. It repels water. They use it on boats a lot, too. So, I was putting the finish on it today and just rubbing my hands all over it and thinking. I lost my kitchen table a couple of six months ago. We'll get into that some other day. That wasn't mine anyways, I don't care. Um, so being that it turned out as good as it did, I'm going to give it to myself and put it in the kitchen. And so I cut it accordingly. It's 36 roughly by 7 foot. It should hold one, two, three, four, five, six people, or eight if they're skinny. Right? Yeah. And so I was just drawing out the dimensions on a, on a piece of paper, graph paper, and I'm going to do the base out of steel, because I can, and I'm a welder. I was a welder once. So bear with me. The next time you see this, maybe I'll show it, maybe I won't, but I'm going to make just a farmhouse table, four legs, support it with a skirt with you know steel and then go with a flat black or a satin black or something like that I like black because Henry Ford liked black and that's all I got to say about that stuff um so yeah I just I think it's cool it turned out really well enough of me yapping about stuff I'll even put a drink on it <coughs> Just got my Yeti cup. Oh. oh, it's a table. And belly up to the bar. And yeah, I think it's pretty cool. So, that's it for this here video. Look at that. This is a, also a satin finish. Satin. Well. And the price is right. You too can have this table for one shilling. Anyways, all right, well, enough of me yapping and yapping and yapping, and I'll get this video uploaded, and I hope you guys like... I mean, I ain't, it ain't shop work, but it's something. Well, it's shop work of a different sort. Okay. All right. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Over and out.